Good evening, everybody. How have y'all been today? <laughs> uh, we are live with some Pokemon Violet. Before we get started with that, as per usual, we gotta get Stream Raiders going. We're coming up on a Super Boss soon, so hopefully we'll get to that tonight. Place units on the battlefield for a chance at victory. We'll get this battle going in half an hour. This is a skin chest, so you can get some nice loot out of it. And in the meantime, let's get a uh, uh, Pokemon going. <laughs> All right. Okay. Haku, welcome in. Thank you for dropping a lurk. Uh, where was I? General. Yeah. How have you been today? Oh, I have very few Pokeballs left. Alright. Let's see if I can catch this thing in a Great Ball or one of my three Ultra Balls. Oh, where? Do I have to actually throw? I actually have to throw a Pokemon at it. Okay. Wait, oh, hey, Ghastly. <laughs> oh yeah, that that cave's the new one. I've been doing well. Thank you for asking. I am glad to be able to be uh, streaming tonight. <laughs> so, being able to jump higher. Oh, okay, so if you jump high, it, like. Yeah, that makes sense. Fair. Yeah. Boom. Just clear the entire tree. Let's go. My map. I couldn't get up here. I wonder if I can high jump up to it. Ooh, same as up here. Uh, yeah, explore the rest of this and I'll start exploring over this way. I want to get to uh, this Team Star person by the end of stream. Uh, which I probably will. I actually just have the area three of the East Province to explore. <laughs> uh, explore uh, Zapacio as well, but I think this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. explore the East Province. I'll explore Thackeray, uh, Thicket, but I won't be going up to the North Province yet. I don't think I actually can get up to the North Province yet, but um. Yeah, okay. But after that, I'm gonna double back and start uh, exploring the western side of the map. And I immediately ran into a wall. Okay. <laughs> that That's pretty common for me. High jump and I still can't get up here. Okay, cool. Can I get all the way up this? All right, maybe. Oh, I did not see the Murkrow. It shall die. <laughs> I, I might be a tad bit over leveled at this point, just just slightly. Alright, yeah, okay, I definitely cannot get up that. Oh, he's just a bunch of deerling. Okay. 
probably, I can't, I can probably not get up the edge over there either. So I'm gonna want to, uh... I, I went all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I forgot to buy Pokeballs, which was the entire reason I went back to the Pokemon Center. Oops. <laughs> okay. Guess I'm going back again. Okay, I can do another acrobatics. Alright, cool. Now, hopefully, a great ball catches this thing. Oh my... I shouldn't have done another acrobatics. It's fine. Oh boy. Okay, I can survive two more turns of burn, so I'll throw this other great ball, and if that doesn't work, I'll throw an ultra ball, and if that doesn't work, it dies. Oh boy. I have to wonder why this catch rate seems really low. Like, it, it, feel, it feels like it's every po wild Pokemon in this area. Just has an absurdly low catch rate. I mean, throwbacks to that Basculin that I spent like 20 Great Balls on. <laughs> Orthworm. This Pokemon lives in arid deserts. It maintains its metal body by consuming iron from the soil. Alright. It's a... Uh, it is a worm. Alright, so it does not evolve. Uh, oh yeah, I also want to rearrange this. Uh, basically, I think... Yeah, okay, it's just moving up. Florogato. Couple sp a couple spaces. And now, I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and actually do what I wanted to do, which was buy Pokeballs. Yeah, I went went all the way back and just completely forgot to grab uh grab any balls. <sighs> also heal as well because I didn't take damage, so might as well. Alright. Okay, I can't buy Ultra Balls yet, but that's fine. I'll just buy 30 Great Balls. Alright. So now, finally, I can start actually exploring. Ten minutes into stream. Let's go. Did I? It only takes me that long to actually get started doing things, huh? Also, why is the camera so far away? Like, normally when you're dashing, it is not nearly that far. Alright. So looking around, I have explored... I haven't explored up here yet. So yeah, what'll do... So explore up here. Then drop back down here and go over uh, this way. Explore along this path, go to Zapatio, and then explore back up and then up to here. Okay. I'm also just racking up league points at this point, which. I suppose it's helpful. Okay. So, uh, all the way up. Oh! Whoa, okay, that was... That was some lag. The game just, like, froze for half a second. 
Walk here. Thing. Okay, hold on. That thing's back. <laughs> that thing was appearing and then disappearing. What is it? What? What terrestrializable Pokemon is? What? It? Huh? Where? Where did it go? What? What? Okay. All right. Guess I. Guess I'm not figuring out what terrestrializable Pokemon is there, because it just vanished entirely. Oh, I jumped too far. Ooh, give me gold. Okay. I think. Yeah, nothing new around here. Uh. Already been. Over. Wait, have I been. Ooh, hold on. I don't think I've actually been. Up on this section? I think I jumped over it. Am I soft locked? <laughs> I soft locked myself. Alright. At least the game uh, prevents you from. Okay, there. Oh, oh there, there. there's a Gibby Goal up there. Wait, hold on, I can jump. That's fine. At least the game figures that if you're falling indefinitely, it, uh, breaks the soft lock. Which... You know what? Yeah, that's beneficial. <laughs> I mean, it would be better if you just couldn't fall indefinitely, but that's a good backup to have. Anything over here? No. And up this way. Aha! A trainer. With a different colored speech bubble. Hmm. That's, <laughs> that orthworm. Alright. Okay. What do you have to say? And what Pokemon do you have? There's so much sand around here, my mouth's getting all gritty. Esther? <gasps> a Dreepy! Oh, there's a Dreepy in the background. Oh, Alright, we need to just annihilate the sun floor and then go catch the Dreepy. Dreepy. She has three Pokemon, okay. Dreepy, please do not despawn. <laughs> it's fading in and out of existence. Dawnfan? I'm treating this like... Uh -oh. Set. Uh, I probably one shot here, right? And it might have a rock type move, which is kind of scary because I'm quad weak. Oh no. Okay, it has an electric type move. Yeah, uh, it's probably gonna Thunder Fang again. Let me switch into Floragato. <laughs> the Dreepy in the background, please. Please do not despawn. Oh, come on. Really? I get hit with the paralysis? Alright, T-Bomb still should probably one-shot, assuming I don't get annihilated by paralysis here. Cool. Oh, come on. Okay, right, Dawn Fan is pretty tanky. Dawn Fan is pretty tanky. Um... It's gonna slam again. And because of the paralysis, yeah, the paralysis really hurts. Uh, I should be fine at least. Oh wait, we still have speed. Oh, let's go. Or at least it was a speed tie. Masquerade. Ooh. Alright. Bug flying. Uh, definitely uses a bug type move here. Yeah, I'll switch back into Talon Flame. Actually, it probably has water type moves. That's 
fine. Because Flame Charge should definitely one shot, and we absolutely outspeed. Oh no. Oh, you stun spore. And it missed. Okay, whew. Okay. I should have used acrobatics, but. Whew. That was kind of scary for a moment, actually. For 4,500 bucks. Okay. Okay. I cannot let this Dreepy get out of my sight. There. Now I'm actually in battle with it. It's level 24. If I use Flame Charge, it probably still kills, even though it resists, because Dreepy's stats kind of suck. Um, which means... I think switching into Floatzel is probably the play, because it resists Aqua Jet, and Aqua Jet isn't particularly great, though it is Stab. <sighs> trying to think what else does it resist. Spark? It resists Spark. Or I could just try to Quick Ball it. I also kind of want to save my Quick Balls. Right, well, let's see. Let's see how just throwing a Premier Ball does. Oh my God, that was close. That was legitimately close. Hold on. Did that do... Oh, okay, right. I forgot that's a Bug-type wrap. Which means... Uh, actually... Yeah, I will swap in Floatzel. Oh, wait, Infestation stops that? Or does Dreepy have Arena Trap? Dreepy might actually have Arena Trap, come to think of it. Uh, okay, so I'll Super Potion here. actually kind of hurts. Alright, please stay in the ball this time. Okay, let's go! <laughs> let's go! It has a habit of biting at Clauncher, even though it doesn't feed on them. This is said to be vestigial behavior from when Dreepy was alive. Oh, right. Yeah, Dreepy, Dreepy's dead. Forgot about that. Uh, another sleeping Rolicoli. See down here, what have we got? Qfant. Ooh, well, and another cave. I do actually. Yeah, I'll finish. I'll finish out looking at the quarry. Uh, oh, there's a gimme goal here. Okay. Yeah, I'll go through the cave, look at the quarry again, just to look at everything. Oh, that. <laughs> oh wait, did I actually? I guess I'm over here now. All right. Well, acrobatics almost certainly just one shots this thing. Yeah, okay, cool. Goodbye, young goose. Free XP. Wait. Ooh, okay, that's just a done sparse. Why, why do I keep getting teleported over there? Like, okay. So, thinking on it... Uh, 
Yeah, actually, let me... <sighs> yeah, I still want to ex explore up here first. So I'll, I'll just go back to the cave. Because <laughs> I can actually jump up this now. Boom. Ah, oh, the wonders of high jump. See another poniard. The ghastly is that? Oh, that's the Psyduck. All right. Hyper potion. All right. Okay, let's just basculine again. Ooh, lots of items here. Let's go. Revive. Get over here. Does not look like it. Great ball. Ether. Ooh, TM. Let's go. What do we got here? Can I actually pick it up? Fart break. Ooh, hold on. That's a pretty good TM, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got an item here. Quick ball. Let's go. Uh, that is just the quarry. Another Orthworm. The Orthworms are pretty cute, not gonna lie. Oh, well, in a cave. There are quite a few caves around here, actually. A Sunstone. Ooh. That could be useful eventually. Let's go. Just barely able to make it up. Knackly. Another. Oh. What are you? Just. Just a roly holy. That. Talent Flame probably won't actually one shot, so let me uh, swap into Floatzel. Smackdown, that's fine. Aqua Drop one shots because it's four times effective and Rolly Cully's like really weak. Yeah, okay, cool. This is why I should actually look where I'm going. Ooh, level 37 Talent Flame. Nice. Do I already have one of you? I do not have a Logix. Okay. Hopefully this just works. Probably not, but it would be neat if it did. Dang, okay. It's bug fighting, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure... Yeah, I don't think... I have... Um... I mean, it resists Poison Jab, I think. So, let me swap in Claude Sire. Plus, Claude Sire's attack isn't the greatest. Oh, no, it resists Mudshot. Okay. Actually, I probably could have poison jabbed. Ah, but that might poison it. Yeah. Alright. Guess I just mud shot like five times. And then toss another great, great ball. Because I can just barely damage Claude Sire anyway. And if I get low enough. Well. Oh. Oh, it used Screech. Okay, that's a tiny bit concerning. It's also way faster than Glodzire, too. 
Because, yeah, even with three speed drops. There we go, now we move first. It should be low enough, I should actually be able to catch it now. How do you miss screeching at something? I don't... I don't quite get that. <sighs> Suppose the claw target's low enough too, we can, uh... Oh my goodness! This thing does not want to stay in the ball. Like, I get it's fully evolved, but like, please. Oh my goodness. It, 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 it takes three times to just give you false hope. I'm sure of it. Okay, hold on, I'll use another mud shot. Hopefully this doesn't crit. Okay, good. Alright. At this point, Bloodsire's defense is low enough that I'm just going to swap back into Talonflame because we quad resist a lot of its moves. So... Plus it gets rid of the defense drops. Oh my goodness, just stay in the ball, please. Screech is kind of scary, again. But we should be fine still. Oh my goodness, Lockix, just stay in the ball. <sighs> Alright, we can take another hit. So, tossing another Great Ball. Well, I didn't even waste any time with that one, it just broke out. Another Screech! Which means we swap back into Claude's Ire. I swear, this thing is going to start struggling at some point, and it's just going to kill itself. The, seriously though, the, um, the catch rates seem way too low in this game. That's another thing that's... Well, either I'm getting really unlucky or the catch rates are that low. Oh, let's go, finally. Not sure what the camera was doing there, but alright. Oh, it's Bug Dark. It uses its normally folded third set of legs when in showdown mode. This places a huge burden on its body, so it can't stay in this mode for long. Alright. Now, let's uh, start healing up. Because we are pretty far away from the Pokemon Center. And another potion. One on Sprigatito. And another... Well, Florogato. <laughs> Not sure why I said Sprigatito. One on Cloud Tire. It's actually it for potions. 50, 70... Freshwater is 30. Okay. We use fresh water, then soda pop, then super potions, hyper potions, and max potions. Alright. Uh, anything else up here that is interesting? Just a Thunderstone and an HP up. Okay. So we get back down. Another, oh, another couple of items up around here, actually. Let's go. <laughs> I 
I nearly just went straight off the edge. Okay. Oh, well, that's gone. And Stream Raiders Battle is ready. Which is... Oh, hold on. Rest Y instead of X. Let's get the Stream Raiders Battle going. It is current... Uh, I can't speak. Stream Raiders Battle is just my Necromancer. But... We'll see how this goes. One ally on the battlefield against five enemies. Oh yeah, the fire raid and the necromancer is real slow. But the skeleton warrior still took down uh Took down the enemies, so. Alright. Eight gold going to every viewer. There you go. Okay. Let's get this next battle started. Place units on the battlefield using the link in chat. We'll get this battle going in 30 minutes. And in the meantime. We have some more Pokemon to play. <laughs> oh, I forgot to um, use a paralysis heal. Hold on. I have 21 of the things. <laughs> yeah, healing items in this game are really common, which I'm grateful for because I need that extra cash for uh, Pokeballs because the catch rates are so low. <laughs> This is the quarry again, which I will get back to. Yeah, actually, hold on. Let me explore up around this thing, and then I'll go back down and look at the quarry again. Go down over here, then over here, and over this. Okay. So what is this thing? Why did they mine out... A triangle. That seems a bit unusual. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, there's nothing in that one. There is a single TM here. There we go. Spikes. Alright. And an item here. And it's a, <laughs> it's a revive, and I thought the Diglet was an item. <laughs> how, how does a Diglet sucker punch? The, like mechanically, that that seems, seems very odd. Just, just gonna say. Okay. Uh. Heat Rock, Heal Ball, anything up top of this? Another TM, Swift, alright. A medium experience candy, ooh. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a couple of Hariyama just hanging out with some Akihita. I, I keep accidentally running into Rolly Coley. I'll take the free XP, but I'm like not actually actively trying to grind. <laughs> oh, rabbit spin. I really do not care about you racing your speed. I have Aqua Jet. <laughs> Upward. <laughs> okay, there is an item here. Grab this. Ooh, a rare candy. Alright, you'll have to see it. 
anything up at the top of this. Alright, nothing at the very top, but there is an item here that I will happily snag. Ooh, a max potion. Nice. Okay, now let's hop back into the quarry. Because there are more items in these caves that I just... Okay, I have cleared out this cave, but some, some of the caves... Like, the items just didn't spawn. <laughs> you know? Wait, where does this lead? Oh, this leads over to here. Oh, this just leads to the watchtower. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna... Climb that real quick so I can nab the uh, flying taxi spot. And then I'll get back to the... <laughs> then I'll get back to the, uh, the quarry, because keep getting distracted from it, huh? TM, nice. Sandstorm, alright. Anything up at the very top? Oh. Oh, that's not even the very top. I was gonna say the, the top has uh, dropped frames, but we're not even there yet, and we're already dropping frames. What was at the very top of this tower? A max elixir. Okay. You know what? That's worth it. <laughs> that is absolutely... Where does this cave go? Is this just another dead end cave? Right. No, it just leads right out here. Okay. I mean, I did need to explore this area still. And by that, I mean pick up this. Another damp rock. There have been a lot of rocks. And just a lot of the um, elemental ability rocks. But it's quite a few Q-Fant. Kind of surprised there isn't a copper job between them. Have I already battled you? I think I have, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, was this the cave that... No, this was a dead end. Did I not check the cave next to it? I don't think I looked at this one. Aha! This one had the jump. Hex! Alright, that's a pretty decent move. I think the quarry only had uh, items in the caves. So, I already looked... I already checked in there... Just gotta check over here. Oh, it didn't only have one in the caves. There are some just randomly strewn in the ground. Oh, and this was the cave that led back out to here. Alright. Another damp rock. Let's continue on this way, then. Oh! Keep accidentally running into Pokemon because I'm just not looking where I'm going. Another Silicobra. explore this area, because I haven't yet. I mean, that's kind of just the whole point of exploring areas is, you know, looking for things you haven't seen yet. I do like how explorable this map is, but I will say it... Oh my god, another roly Coley. I, you know, I think I'm just going to run from this one instead of just wasting time on it. Oh, if you run, you can just immediately encounter it again. Okay, that's interesting. Smooth rock. The million volt skyline. Oh! Kinda wish it, uh... <laughs> it would be a bit neater 
if it was in a higher resolution, but yeah, that that's that, that's a game freak moment. Low sweep, all right. Continue down this path. Over here, nothing. There's an item right here, so I will happily nab this. Oh, can I jump back up to this one? Oh, come on, it's like just out of reach. Fine, I'll take a bit of a longer way. There we go. A hyper potion. Alright, that was kind of worth it. Guard spec. Alright. And a trainer to battle. Ooh. If the <laughs> if the frames start working properly. There we go. Hey, don't you think I'm awful cute? Etana. Ooh, a Lilligant. I think, yeah, we have encountered a Patillo at the Grass Gym, so... I already knew Lilligant was in the game, but... I'm actually running low on Acrobatics PP, hold on. And, best of when I can just... <laughs> I can just use another super effective move. Ooh, yeah, okay. I think Flame Charge should still one-shot. Super effective, stab. I'm up 10 levels, it did not one-shot. Right, Vesperin's... Ooh! Okay, Swagger is... a bit scary. Because <laughs> there's a one-third chance I just deal large amounts of damage to myself here. So I switch in, but what do I even switch into? Like... Probably Pomo, because yeah, it's it's a uh, bug flying. So <clears throat> glad I switched into something that resists bug. All right, and spark kills. Yes. Okay. Cool. I wish you'd show a little more respect for my cuteness. Right, I'm just gonna ignore that NPC for the rest of the time, probably. <laughs> Another cave. There are a lot of caves in this area, which... I'm not complaining. I like caves in video games. I, mean, I wish these caves were a bit more actually explorable instead of just kind of there. But... Because as of here, yeah, it's just go in, grab the item, and leave. And that's it, that's the entire cave. Can I actually get on the box, please? Thank you. And then... There's no reward for getting up there, okay. And a lot of the other ones, they actually put something on those, on those grates, but nope. Nope, not this one. Another circle of Q-Fans, wow. Alright, there's nothing on that one either. A, ma a max potion? Okay, I'm starting to get like real good items just on the ground. <laughs> Weasel... Diglitter, or candy... Actually, oh, okay, so this is... Pretty big river. This is not how rivers work. Rivers don't just like split like this. That's not. They don't do that. <laughs> they flow with, to like the lowest point, like by the lowest point. The, the chances of these two points being equally low is unlikely. Like the chance of this entire thing being an island. Uh, and also, like, in such a way that this entire thing without these two would be, like, an, uh, uh, a bay. Like, 
Yeah. This... <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> just, just gonna say it. Alright. Wow, all the Q fan really just want to follow me. Oh, hey, a Dreadnought. Hold on. I don't have one of these yet. Oh! Oh, the camera does not like this battle. Uh, so it is rock water. So I am going to switch in to Floatzel and hope Aqua Jet does not kill it. Because Dreadnought's pretty bulky. Not terribly bulky, but pretty bulky. Increase your speed all you would like. I have Aqua Jet. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Aqua Jet does not kill. Let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, Razor Shell is water type. We're fine. <laughs> Now, Great Ball! The Q-Fan are really interested in these fights. Oh no. Every time I throw a ball, it's gonna slow down to like, three frames a second. <sighs> Please just stay in the ball, man. Okay, hold on. No, but if we roll high on Aqua Jet, it probably kills. Um, hold on. Power of 40. Okay, they, they have the same. <laughs> same power. Hopefully this doesn't kill. Okay, cool. <laughs> the Q-Fan just coming right up to the camera. Um, Hold up. He's... Okay, stream seems like it's working properly. For some reason, on Twitch, like, on my, um, Twitch dashboard, it is claiming that stream is offline, even though OBS says my bitrate is at 4,300 kilobits a second, and I can look at stream on another tab just fine. Yeah, okay, this is... Kind of strange. Hopefully, if I just refresh the uh, page, it fixes itself. Also, can this dreadnought please just stay in the ball? That would be real nice. It'd also be nice if. Uh, the game didn't slow down to 2 FPS every time I threw a ball. <sighs> Keep shaking twice and then... Oh! Why did it not use crunch from the get-go? That is... that is my question. Why... why was it wasting time on things like... Uh, razor shell? Like... And the defense drops, that's a bit scary. Please stay in the ball. Let's go. <sighs> Three FPS Pokeball catch. Or Great Ball catch. Oh, <laughs> all of the exclamation points as well. Dreadnought lurks along the shoreline. When prey come to drink water, Dreadnought stretches its neck out and chomps down on them. Alright. No. Send to boxes. Really don't get why. Alright, you know what, whatever. Clearly, stream is still working, so. Also, that Arakuta that was in the water there just swam away. 
That was unfortunate. I would have liked a chance to catch it. Oop, hold on. Maybe I can snipe it? Nope. That... Oof. That sucks. I thought... I thought I saw an item there, but no. There was no item. Oh, that, that wasn't even just an Arrogator. That was just a Barrascuta. Alright. I'll see if you're worthy. Wow. Are you a student, child? Allow me to test your abilities. Nate, welcome in! How have you been today? Ooh, a Flapple! <laughs> it is Grass Dragon, which means... I'm pretty sure Gra Dragon doesn't resist flying. It does not. The Orthworm in the background. Alright, thank you for dropping a lurk, regardless. And glad to hear you're doing well. That was conceited of me. <laughs> the way Orthworm moves. God. I, I don't know why I find Orthworm so amazingly funny, but it is, to me, just terribly funny. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I do remember to drink water, everyone. It is quite good for you. Oh! I really need to stop moving while the camera is turned upward, because I keep running into wild Pokémon. Anything down here? Uh, no, but apparently I dropped a bunch of frames in the jump. <laughs> Our Q-Fant just popping into existence, as they do. Ooh, a cave! Now, oh, A terrestrializable Pokémon at the end of the cave. If I can actually get in, what is... This. <gasps> oh, a Pyroar! Hold up. Now, what type is it going to turn into? And what level is it? Because that's, those are both very important questions. Uh. Hi. Is that Ghost type? I think that might be Ghost. I mean, it's a really neat hat, but yeah, I think that's ghost type. Um, I have... Uh, Fodogato has a dark type move, so that might be useful. But... It's normally fire type, so... Alright, what I'm gonna do... Hopefully acrobatics does a significant amount of damage. Okay, cool. Hyper voice. Ooh. 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 Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I think Talonflame just goes down here. Unless we can... Break the terrestrialization. Okay, cool. Terrestrialization broken. Um, and now, we hope to god this great ball catches it. Oh, no. I should have I just swapped into something that actually can resist things. Alright, uh, oof. Okay, Claude, Claude Tire's a tank. Claude Tire's a tank. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can take a couple hits.
If this thing stays in the ball, that would be really nice. Let's go! Not sure why I couldn't have done that, you know, one earlier, but whatever. That's a lot of XP for Clodsire, nice. The mane of a male pyroar heats up to over 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit during battle. Merely approaching it will cause severe burns. Ooh, hold up, and a Sableye. There's a lot of things in this cave. Let me, uh, nab the Sableye. And... Okay, if I use anything, <laughs> that might that might kill it. So hopefully a great ball just catches it. Oof. Alright, I'll take it using fake out. That deals like no damage. <laughs> Even with a crit, it dealt minimal damage. Wow. Well, oh, there's a gumshoes in here as well. Come on, stay in the ball, please. I should have just quick balled it, but. Ugh. They don't need to make it shake three times. They, they really don't need to tell you, like, oh yeah, here. <laughs> you, you didn't just fail to catch this. You really failed to catch this. Ugh. Nightshade, that's actually kind of scary because we don't have that much HP to begin with, but we're, we're fine. Oh my goodness! I, I don't have any moves that this thing resists on any of my Pokémon, I'm pretty sure. Because it's flat out immune to psychic type moves. It... Um, I use, like, Bite or U-Turn, I, I, that will probably kill it. Like, I, my only hope is to just keep lobbing Pokeballs at it. But I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs this way. <sighs> Please just stay in the ball. Eight Great Balls left, and then two Ultra Balls, and I'll get supposed to move on to using Dusk Balls. Why why are the catch rates on literally everything in this game, like, so damn low? Oh my god! Please, Sableye, just stay in the ball. Pyroar stayed in the Great Ball after, like, two tries. The Sableye, on the other hand, does not want to stay in one. I really should have just quick balled it, huh? Alright, three Great Balls left. If I do anything, it probably one-shots. Let's go! <sighs> Ooh, level 36. Want well, to add an evolution? Materials from gems it has eaten float to the surface of its body and can form an infinite number of patterns among individuals. Oh, oh, let's go. Furogato is evolving. Miascarada. Ooh, 
With skillful misdirection, it rigs foes with pollen fla po pollen packed flower bombs. Miascarada sets off the bombs before its foes realize what's going on. Oh, yeah, just... Masquerade. It got from the word masquerade. <laughs> Miascarada. <laughs> Flower trick. Ooh, hold up. What is this? Is this a new move? The user throws a rigged bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always lands a critical hit. Yes? Like it. Okay, so it always crits. And never misses. Like, that's just- that is better than Seed Bomb, even though it technically has a lower base power, it- It's, a, uh, It never- it always critting means that it'll actually deal- Uh, it'll actually- it actually has a base power of 105, essentially. These crits are 1.5 times, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. <laughs> I will take Flower Trick over Seed Bomb. Alright. And before we get the Stream Raiders battle going, I'm going to quick ball this gumshoes, and if it does not stay in it, then I will just run. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gumshoes specializes in relentlessly tracking down prey. The simple-minded Squavit doesn't seem to provide it enough challenge. Sent boxes. And... Let me get out of the cave. So that I can fly to the Pokemon Center, and I'll fly back up to this and then just drop back down. Or, oh wait, oh, the Million Volt Skyline is its... Okay, that is neat. But yeah, we'll get the Stream Raiders battle going once we uh, reach the Pokemon Center. Which is to say, once this loading screen finishes. <laughs> Alright. So, let's get the battle going. We have two units on this battlefield against eight enemies. So let's see how this goes. This we have 10 allies, but I'm not sure where the other allies are coming from. Huh. Well. Apparently my gladiator was able to do enough with, uh, with Bukuizzi's... I, I don't know what that unit was, but sacrifice itself. So... Seven gold going to every year who plays troop on the battlefield. Loot's gonna be going to Wicked Wheezy. Let me collect on this quest, and let's get this next battle started. We're only two battles away from that super boss. So, place your units on the battlefield for a chance at victory. We'll get the battle going in half an hour. Now, in the meantime, we got more Pokemon to play. I have to say, Fly being available from the start is really nice. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's just Pomo now that it is not fully evolved on our team. Also, I did look up how to evolve Pomo, and apparently it's like you have to walk a thousand steps with it outside of its Pokeball. So once we get it, once we get to it being the front of the party, we'll uh, toss it down. Also, hop down onto this. Let's go. Oh, there's a bag on hanging out up here. <laughs> I already have one, but that's neat. Uh, 
Are there still a cobra? <laughs> the, the way Orthro moves by just like paddling along is. I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it is. Can I have the item, please? Thank you. Psybeam. Alright, not bad, not bad. Granted, most Pokemon that I'd want to run Psybeam on learn it naturally, but... Yeah. Let's see. There's an item here that I missed. And yeah, I already fought that trainer. Okay, let's make our way back up because I think that's everything down here. If I look at the map. Oh wait, hold on, I didn't go all the way over to here. I do have to say, I really like how Leventia looks at night. Just the way they made it light up is neat that they put in the detail for that. Can I get back up? <laughs> Do I have to fly back up? Hold on. Floor store, alright. The blue void of the ocean in this game. Poison tail, nice. Okay, now I can ride back up. That's good. <laughs> Oh wait, did I? No, I didn't miss it. Okay. It's still, still over here. I thought I missed the way back up for a moment. <laughs> and... Yeah, up here. Alright. Oh yeah, if the uh if it had a few more polygons it would look pretty neat. But it it, it does not it does not really have all that many polygons, huh? Okay, so over here I keep missing the item. There we go. And Stardust, and a Damp Rock, alright. Um, I've explored this. I want to, yeah, I'll continue along the path. I'll, I'll look at Zapacio, and then I'll explore up here, go back along here, go over this way, get to this Pokemon Center. Is that just an ice cream stand? Just vibing? Or is this a trainer? Oh! Just free heal. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. Given that this is kind of uh, out of the way. yeah, it's about equal distance between these two Pokemon Centers. I would have preferred if they put the Prowling Pokemon Center, like, here-ish, but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, an Ultra Ball, nice. I forgot to buy more Pokeballs at that uh, Pokemon Center, huh? And there's a terrestrializable Pokemon over there. Ooh. Can I even make it over there? <gasps> it's a phalanx. Okay. Um. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> I'll go for it. 
I may have forgotten to buy balls, but hopefully it stays in one this time. Is that steel type? It looks like it's steel type. Okay. And <laughs> I just just looks like it's the axe is going right into its head. Reversal? Ooh. Oh right, yeah, reversal's a fighting type move. Never mind. It's about to say that could hurt, but not really. That breaks the terrestrialization. And hopefully, this stays in one of these two Great Balls. And yeah, I'll fly back to the Pokemon Center and buy more. I keep forgetting to buy Pokeballs, which sucks, but yeah. Please stay in the ball. Ugh. Okay, hopefully it stays in one of the Ultra Balls then. Oh no, it burned itself. Alright, really hopefully it stays in one of the Ultra Balls then. <laughs> and if it doesn't stay in one of, um... Actually, I think it dies in two turns, so if it doesn't stay in this one, we'll use a Dusk Ball. Ah, oh, stayed in this one. Okay. Ooh, level 38 wants to learn a new move. Aerial Ace! Okay. Um... Let me look. Does massive damage if the user isn't holding an item. Slashes the attack never misses. I think I prefer... yeah. I, I prefer just not holding an item. Though... <sighs> hmm... <sighs> not sure, actually. Because we might eventually want to actually give Talonflame an item. Uh, um... <laughs> but, oh wait, 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 we can just... We can just move the moveset around once we find an item that, like, actually is good on Talonflame. The leader, known as the Brass, uses its extendable horn to issue orders to the others when it's time to change formation. Okay. So now, <laughs> we teleport back to the Pokemon Center so I can actually buy Pokeballs this time. Because I keep forgetting to buy them. That was how fast I've been going through them. I wonder if I should buy like 60. Let's buy. How many can I buy? I can buy 117. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna buy, uh... I mean, I'm still buying, like, half of that. But I go through them so quickly. Because the catch rates in this game are so damn low. Like, I'm not... I I've heard other people saying it, so, like, I don't think it's just me being really unlucky. It might be me and a few other people being really unlucky, though. But it seems that the catch rates in this game have just been really low compared to others. Thunderstone... Super po- I did not see that Orthworm. Yeah, Orthworm is pretty damn tanky, actually. Thinking on it. Right. Move a bit this way. Looks like there's no items around here. 
There's so many Q fans. <laughs> just, just a whole bunch of elephants. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to the path for uh, until we get over to Zapacio. Like, this looks like over here. Yeah, you can't get up here either. Like, it's just um. Dalizapa Passage, huh. So, looking at the numbers here, it seems Area 1, Area 2. So it looks, it looks like they want you to enter it through the thicket. Or can you actually enter it through the thicket? This might be impassable without climbing. You might actually have to enter this way through Glossiata Mountain. Huh. Also, wow, the um, these two gems are pretty close to each other, but like also <laughs> very, very icy area. Like this is the entire thing, just like a uh, mountain, I guess. Huh. Okay. Ooh, hold on. pretty, pretty spirals. I mean, I know they're man-made because they're quarries, but. Still, the spirals still look nice. And what do you have to say, Mr. Backpacker? Come on, let's have a battle of luck. Ooh, an impotent! Alright, so... <laughs> so acrobatics probably one-shots here. I'm gonna be so overleveled backtracking to the, uh... Back, uh, Western Province. <laughs> is your luck good, or is mine just bad? Yeah, yeah, I know, Haku. They they put a uh, they put moist critical in the game. <laughs> and I have um, <laughs> it has to be intentional. Like they have to know, right? Because moist critical is a really damn popular, if I remember correctly. Like I think he has like what twelve million subs on YouTube. Lots of items there, let's go. Oop, a gimme goal. Doesn't look like there's anything up top there. It doesn't look like there's anything up here either. Oop, is there an item that I missed? Oh, nope. Nope, it was just... <laughs> it was just a rufflet that wants to pick a fight. Not sure why the Makahita ran all the way over just to watch my Talonflame one shot a rufflet. Like, what's it gonna think? It, what what does it think it's gonna do? Use a fighting type move on a Talonflame? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this mountain I'll explore with. It. Yeah, I'll explore this mountain, then over here, then up here, then over here. Okay, cool. Not sure why I have to meticulously plan out exactly where I'm going to explore, but I do anyway. <laughs> hey, it's close to 12 mil. Okay. I mean, that's still... I mean, being close to 12 mil is still, like, insanely impressive for YouTube. Oh. I keep not looking where I'm going and just running into wild Pokemon that I'm <laughs> annihilating entirely, entirely, because, whew. Everything here is so rugged. I mean, you are in a mine, 
Seems like rough and rugged places like this attract a lot of hardy Pokemon, huh? Lorenzo. Ooh, a Finian. Too bad it's level 25. <laughs> I think we're getting to the point in a, in a Pokemon game, I can just... I can just breeze by by being horribly overleveled. Trainers are hardy too. Let's see, Brookity. This one's this one's a real big spiral down to the bottom. Is it gonna like actually be anything useful here? Stardust. What's uh what's this item gonna be? It's Magikarp down in the pond. Max Ether. All right. I can't jump back up, I think, unless I... Nope, okay, I can't jump back up. Alright. Well, I'd have to ride back up anyway. Stardust. Alright, there was not really anything worthwhile here. <laughs> Which, I suppose it makes sense. They would have mined out anything worthwhile already. <laughs> But I do wonder what they're mining here. Like, I suppose, actually, it's probably coal. Because, yeah, Lavincia. Honestly, like, realistically speaking, Lavincia probably has, like, a coal processing plant. Given that it's, you know, has an electric type gym leader. That's kind of just how Pokemon likes to roll, you know? Anything up top? Yes. Alright, who who climbed this entire like small hill just to drop a hyper potion up at the top? Oh, another Bagon. I have to I have to assume Bagon's like a rare spawn, because um uh, Salamence is pretty dang good. So like if they just handed out free Bagon, that would be kind of insane. But, like, I have seen three of them so far, so, yeah. So what is in this cave? Oh. Oh, this is a big cave. Hold on. Oh. This... This just dumps us back out in, uh, Area 1 of the East Province. Huh. I, I kinda hope to dump us back out up at one of the top things, but alright. Can I get to this item, please? Thank you. Alright, it's just a heat rock. I have so many rocks that I'm just not gonna use. <laughs> a great ball. Nice, nice. Love to see it. Full heal. Alright. Alright, so this counts as part of the so I'll explore it in a little bit. Can I get back up this hill? Thank you. More yellow squawkabilly. I've already battled that trainer, I think. Oh god. <laughs> that Hariyama that just hopped into existence directly in front of me. That's kind of terrifying. Alright. And nothing up there. Okay, cool. So let's explore Zapatio.
Dun. So just gonna say we have only uh, under 10 minutes left in the Stream Raiders battle and only one true play so far. So use the link that was in chat earlier for uh, to place down troops or go to streamraiders.com slash t slash nerd switch. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League representative. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? So far you've defeated 12 trainers here in Area 3 of the East Province. But half the Pokemon League, here's your lucky prize. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, <laughs> why that didn't show up. That's, that's an interesting glitch. Uh, not sure what TM I got there. But... Okay, looks like this is whatever Fido's evolution is, a Gothita and a Sinistee. Like, Sinistee could be found around here. Okay. Once, I was on the verge of fainting a little ways outside town, when a wild Pokemon Center lady appeared and came to my rescue. Do you have anything to say? No? Alright. Uh, let's... Item here. Rocky Helmet, alright. Oh, this is <laughs> little uh, battle area. Even though this town doesn't have a gym, it seems. Oh, what are you offering? Hello there, child. I'm a collector of curiosities and great lover of sinistee. I have a curio with a dark past, shall we say? It's yours for ten sinistee chips. I do not have. Sinistee chips. But I'm not entirely sure what you mean by a curio with a dark past. That seems intriguing. Uh, short breather. It seems okay. So this town does not seem like it has all that much. In all honesty, it's, uh, just kind of there. Oh, you're designed to enter from, from this direction, I think. Welcome to Zapop Zapopico. Zapopico. I'm not sure why I, why I thought it was Zapacio. Zapopico. It's a mining town full of hardworking folks. Sure, big cities are fun to go visit, but plain little towns like this one have their own charm. The name Zapapigo comes from a word for a pickaxe. Fitting for a town of mostly miners, no? Nothing like finding a bench when you're when you really need one. You'll understand when you're older. I saw this Pokemon in the mine that was so big it was like a mountain. Oh, the Titan uh, Orthworm. Well, I saw Pokemon so long it was like a river. Also, probably the Titan Orthworm. What is this area? Dalizapa Mountain. A passage to Glaciado Mountain, I would assume. Oh, this Ursa Ring, Flareon. Wow. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way yet, though. Oh, there's a cave there. Neat. At least I think that's a cave. It looks like it looks like it'll be a cave. Um, but I want to go to uh, Tag Tree Thicket first. Whew. Yeah, there are some big Pokemon up there. All right, what what do we got? What do we got up top? Can I actually jump up there? Thank you. A steel terra shard. So are the, I have to wonder, are the terra shards used to change a Pokemon's terra type? I, I feel like they have to be, right? Because I, I have no idea what other use they would have. Oh, uh, no item up there? Okay. Just 
Firestone, all right. I have a lot of the evolutionary stones so far, huh? Oh, <laughs> get the, the Hariyama. Hariyama jump scare. Anything up this hill? Aha, there's a trainer up there. Anything else up here? Looks like there's an item, a gimme gold coin. Okay. Let's uh, drop down here. I'll take this. It's a TM as well. Alright. There's a lot of things on this hill. Dragon Tail. Ooh. Pretty decent physical dragon move. I mean, Dragon Claw is probably better to have, but Dragon Tail's alright. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how that Brambly or Bramblin was in the hitbox, but Flame Charge. I want to battle someone with serious moxie. Are you that someone? Oh god, does her Pokemon have moxie? Hygrocelia. Naclastack. Or Naclastack? That- Ooh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it looks like a Minecraft mob. But like, I mean, I get why. It's salt. Like... I mean, ooh. <laughs> just, just even, I think it's the eyes. The eyes being just like three pixels each is... <sighs> also, is that flower in... Is that just floating? Is that... <laughs> Sorry, are those leaves just floating or is it like connected to a flower just like in Miascarada's mouth? I, I can't really tell. Okay, so it does a little flourish and then <laughs> drops a bomb of flowers on them. Okay. Ooh, a Flareon. Okay. So I was just gonna use a fire type move. Uh, I am going to swap in Claude Sire actually. This Claude Sire should be able to tank a hit and then start dealing some damage with Mudshot. Fire Fang, that is physical. Okay, we're we're good. Oh come on! It's like a, it's like a thirteen. Okay, I just don't know what, what the burn chance is on um, Fire Fang, but still, that is hella annoying. Cause yeah, I'll take damage from the burn, and now I gotta take like. <sighs> I think I do have to take a turn to heal here. So yeah, he's, he's a hyper or not not a hyper potion, super potion. This is fire fang again, and I take damage from the burn, and I have to use another super potion. <sighs> Why do the NPCs always actually get lucky with the? status effects and stuff. Okay. Now I can afford to actually use a move. Okay. The question is, do I re I think... Flareon's pretty fast, but I think two speed drops should be enough for me to be able to take it out here. 
Yes! Okay, we got speed. Good. Ooh, Cloud Tire last night, new move. Megahorn? Hold on. Uh. Megahorn's bug type, right? Yeah. 120 power, 85 accuracy. Um. Let's see. Our biggest weakness is psychic types. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because psychic types are just straight up our biggest weakness with Claude Sire. So yeah, I think Megahorn covering is probably the best play. Because our special our special defense is already really high. We don't really need amnesia. Okay. Should I pay attention to how many Pokemon she has? Is it actually three? Okay, it's three. Uh, so yeah, I'll swap back into Talonflame. Fake out. All right, that is fine. And we burned it. Oh wait, Hariyama probably has guts. Oh no. Okay. Uh hopefully acrobatics one shots. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Oops, that's all the right move. Whirlpool. Uh let me take a look at it. 35 power. <sighs> it looks damage for 4 to 5 turns. Nah, I think we're, we're sticking with what we have. Does Floats will actually learn any good water type moves? Like liquidation or something? <laughs> okay. Before anything else, let's get that Stream Raiders battle going. We only have the one troop on the battlefield, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, my, my shinobi's not. Because, yeah, every time these attack, it stuns it, I'm pretty sure. Oh! Okay, so if there's a tentacle in here, we probably lose. Or not. Wow. Surviving on a sliver of health. Alright. Let's get this next battle started. This is a super boss. So if you're going to place in any battle, place in this one. You can get uh, 30, uh, upwards of 30 events, uh, not event scrolls, 30 rare scrolls per loyalty level you have with me. Uh, Actually, 30 to 50. So, place units on the battlefield in the next half hour for a chance at victory using that link in the chat. Now, let's uh, get back to Pokemon. <laughs> and I will... Actually, hold on. Uh, no, not X, Y. Because... Yeah, okay, the, the traveling... Pokemon Center is just right there, so I can... <laughs> I can just go back to that. Don't want to miss that item, though. Okay, hop over, and then I'll go back and ex properly explore that area. Oh, give me ghoul. And free heal, let's go. No need to use uh use up all my healing items. <laughs> so 
Let's see, potion, nice. Okay, it makes sense that this area has a bunch of rocks because it's a quarry. But still, that's just... I've gotten so many rocks out of this. It's frankly kind of absurd. Rare bone. Stardust. Revive. Anything up here? Does not look like it. Anything else around here also doesn't really look like it. Yep, nothing up on this. So let's... Yeah, let's explore over this way. Because... Yeah, it's a tag tree thicket. Is there anything at the bottom of this? There is a single item at the bottom of this. And Ultra Ball. Alright. And I'll take those. I can't I can't buy Ultra Balls yet, so. Just kinda reliant why is the camera doing that? Alright. So I'm just kinda reliant on uh, the ones I pick up along the way. Smooth rock, heat rod, smooth rock. Lots of rocks. Another smooth rock. Okay. Frankly, this is just starting to get a bit silly. <laughs> like, I know this is a rocky area, but you don't need to rub it in that much. A damp rock. Thanks. Okay, um... Nothing around here? No item or anything? Alright. Suppose I'll go over around here then. I don't know if there's anything down there. Ah! A trainer! Are you a fan of sad songs? Or not so much? My personal opinion is they're okay, I guess. Lydia the Musician. Ooh, Cricketune. The, the dead whoop. Alright, well, acrobatics just kills here. It's a sad, sad loss in a sad, sad world. Okay, uh, going up this hill, is there anything at the top of this? Nothing? It's just one item at the bottom of the hill, okay. It's a rare bone. Alright. Yeah, I'll... I haven't explored up this way yet, so yeah, I'll explore over here. Ooh, thank you for the hydration reminder, Haku. Remember to drink water, everyone. It is quite good for you. Have I gone up and over this hill yet? I think I have. Yeah, 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 okay. It's just around here I haven't gotten to. Ooh, another cave! It's been a lot of these. <laughs> okay, yeah, there. Wow! Alright, let me explore up uh, over here. over here first, if I can actually jump onto these. There we go. Aha! There is an item up here. And a fourth bag on. Alright. Apparently... 
Apparently it would seem that I'm getting quite lucky with Vagons. And I'm not even trying to get a Salamence, so I've only caught one of them. Alright, nothing on this side. So let's go in these caves. What do we got in here? Oh wow, hold on, this is a big cave. Alright. Okay, Max arrive. I'll take that. This leads over to this area, which I'll explore in a little bit. Let me go back to the cave first, though, and finish up exploring over there. What the? Oh. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Are those... Are those Pokemon up there? Or are they... Camera glitches? I think those are camera glitches. Okay. <laughs> That's the real uh, side game with this game. Is, uh, is it a Pokemon? Or is it just a visual glitch? <laughs> or is it both? Because those happen too. Where does this cave... Oh, okay. Caves that split. Oh, we can actually get over here. Alright. Yeah, I suppose I'll explore around here. What is this thing? I have... I have not seen that Pokemon yet. And another cave. Okay. We're reaching <laughs> definitely not Minecraft level of cave systems, but quite large cave systems. I don't know where that could go, actually. Hold on, I'm gonna go in and find out. <laughs> oh. Oh, an Espeon! Ooh, hold up. An Espeon with a Terra type that isn't that likely isn't psychic? Hold on. Also just an evolution in the wild. That's kinda wild. Alright, what terror type? It's terror type is psychic. Oh, how unlikely! It's level 50! What? Why? Why is there a level 50 Espeon just vibing in this cave? Excuse me? Huh? What? Espeon's a friendship evolution as well, so who just left? It used karma. Oh no. Oh no, no. It's setting up. Oh good god. Okay. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. It used Carmine again. Oh god. We might get swept by a level 50 Espeon. Okay, uh, please use a psychic type move. It used Calm Mind three times in a row! <laughs> okay, we broke, broke the terrestrialization. It still used Calm Mind three times in a row. That's horrifying. Please stay in the Great Ball. Oh no. <laughs> please tell me it only has psychic type moves. Please, please tell me it only has psychic type moves. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, okay, let's go. That's an Espeon. We, we ran into an Espeon before we ran into an Eevee. Neat. Oh, that was a lot of XP. It uses the fine hair that covers its body to sense air currents and predict enemies' actions. So that... that was... That was just... <laughs> Honestly, that was terrifying. 
Uh -huh. I did not expect to enter a cave and there to just be a level 50 espion. Just just vibing. Nothing nothing super special about it. Just just kind of there. Another lock kicks. All right. <laughs> when all the Pokemon around it are like level 25. <laughs> that is actually horrifying. And let me collect all the items around here, then I'll fight that trainer. Small experience candy. Max elixir. Is there anything down here? It doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, that was just Rookadies and a uh, Corpse Wire. What is in here? A bug type. Uh, a bug terror type Sneasel. Alright, that's. Uh, not. Like, I'm not actually sure. I haven't seen. Like, I've seen that Wolfie has posted a video of, uh, like, best terror types for every. <laughs> Flamigo. Of, uh, best terror types for, uh. Every uh, Pokemon, uh, every Pokemon, but I have not watched it yet because I do not want to be spoiled on new Pokemon that I haven't seen yet. Can I get over there somehow? Okay, so if I hold on. Can I even accept, like, there we go, go fast. Let's go! Alright, what item did I? A single fresh water. Can I jump back up? Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, if I just trapped myself over there, I was going to be kind of upset. Uh, apparently, there's Barrascuta in there, but I do not see any. Now, what is this maze of boxes? Like, huh? Can I move? Okay. Alright, a full restore. That's pretty good. A PP up. Alright. Can I get all the way up? Yes, but there's nothing up top. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Game. Oh, th okay, there is a TM up here. But, uh, I'd just like to say, Game, I... I... I don't think I was supposed to just be... Uh, falling eternally there. Just, just saying. I don't think how that's supposed to work. Okay, nothing over here. Take that awakening. Uh, Max elixir. Power gem. Ooh, hold on, that's a pretty decent rock type move. Electric ball. Okay, always happy to have just extra pokeballs. And a rare candy. All right, is there anything else I missed around here? It does not look like it. Okay. Not sure why there's just a bunch of boxes there. Do I already have a Torpal? I think I already have a Torpal, don't I? Oh, I don't have a Torpal. Okay. Uh, so, obviously it resists Flame Charge. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it really resists Flame Charge. Uh, Quick Attack... Uh, Quick Attack should do enough that, like, I can... Oh, gotta use Protect. I'm not sure why it's trying to Protect Stall. It can't burn me. <clears throat> I was gonna say, Quick Attack shouldn't kill it. Oh, wow. Quick Attack does less than uh, Flame Charge, even.
Or, no, it just does barely, barely less. I'm gonna get down to yellow and then start talking Bubble Balls. Or, sorry, barely more, not barely less. Ooh, crit! Alright. In that case, I'll use one more quick attack, just get down a tiny bit lower. Alright, cool, it's in the red. Lava Plume, okay. Alright. Torkoal was caught. Coal is the source of Torkoal's energy. Large amounts of coal can be found in the mountains where they live. So does it just like eat coal and call it a day? Like is that is that its whole thing? <laughs> Else around here. So just another earthworm. Uh, let me heal up first. Oh, okay, that. I really wanted to fight me, huh? And one more. Did you talk to me because you thought I'd use Dragon-type Pokémon? I mean, your trainer class is Dragon Tamer. Marta the Dragon Tamer. Yep, and Appleton. It's level 26. Okay, seriously, like, all these wild Pokémon and the trainer's Pokémon around here are level 26. Why was that Espeon level 50? Like, I could probably pop the Espeon on my team, but, like, that just feels kind of cheap. And also, I don't really want to replace Gardevoir like that, you know? Okay, let's also get up top here. Can I jump up, please? Thank you. Oh, I can definitely get up there. Come on. Come on, Miraidon. What, 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 what are you on? What, what are you on, my dude? Like, come on. You can get up this. Oh my god. Am I gonna have to jump from, like... Up? I have to jump from further up, I think. Okay. It's the closest I can get to it. Probably over there. Yeah, if I get up onto the hill, I could probably jump over jump over to it. There's just one item up there, and it's probably gonna be something like a single revive. <laughs> no, even worse. Just a singular small experience candy. Alright, so that was taking the left fork. What if I Oh whoa, 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 whoa. what are you? Glimmit. That looks like a poison type, and I think anything I do will probably kill it, so I'm just going to throw a Great Ball and hope for the best. Is it a rock type? Hold on. I... Hmm... Okay, it seems like I can probably catch this. Stealth Rock. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a rock type. <sighs> Do I risk acrobatics? I overlevel it by 15 levels. Acrobatics might just straight up kill it, even with even with the resistance.
Come on, stay in the ball, please. Let's go. It also didn't use a damaging move at all, so I will take it. Glimit Crystal. Oh yeah, it's definitely a rock type. Rock Poison. Glimit's toxic mineral crystals look just like flower petals. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder like pollen to protect itself. Poise this Pokemon scatters poisonous powder like pollen to protect itself. I'm not sure if that alliteration is intentional, but if it is, well played. Oh, it definitely seems like it evolves. Alright. So what is over here? Is, it, is this just a dead end with a single, single trainer in here? Right, what, are you, what are you waiting any day now for? My baby's due any day now. I gotta get serious. Oh? Cristobal the Worker. Oh, Hypno. Alright. Well, it knows I have acrobatics, but that's not gonna stop it from, like, dying to acrobatics. I wish I could have gotten a bit more serious in that battle. Oh. Hold on, and a Dunsparce there as well. Hold on, and a... <laughs> oh, sorry, just all these poke... I... I tried to press plus and it said no, battle the Sableye. I mean, sure, I'll, I'll one-shot the Sableye, that's fine, but like... Not sure why all these Pokemon spawned after I had gone down this way, but all right. Okay, so that's back out here. What? Uh, where is the Orthworm? And why did it fight me as soon as I pulled out my map? Uh, um. Okay, there. Why? Why was there an invisible earthworm? Just wh why? Why in the world was there an invisible earthworm? I I do not understand. Okay. Now I can actually pull out my map. Oh, apparently there's colossal around here. All right. Uh. But I've already okay, so I've explored in here. I want to go over to here and then up here. And then over here and then over here and then yeah, okay. Okay. I'll I'll probably Yeah, I do want to get the poison type team star member done this stream. But uh after that I think I'll probably wrap up stream. Because we'll have been streaming for probably close close to or beyond three hours by that point. And I do have to be up, not necessarily early tomorrow, but... Okay, guess so there's another tad bulb. Yeah. Not necessarily early, but early enough that I don't want to go to bed at like three in the morning. <laughs> okay. Is this just another rock? No, Stardust. Alright. Is that a Ponyard? That's a Ponyard. <laughs> going past these so fast, I can't even register what Pokemon they are. <laughs> Ultra Ball. A couple of things rooming around. Ooh. Oh! I Tokyo drifted right into it. Varoom. I still love that name, just Varoom. 
It's got to evolve into Rev. 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 The thing Mela had. Me or Mela, or whatever her name is. Uh. Not sure if it counts as something we've seen or not. Oh! Tadwell evolves into Belly Bolt. Okay. I actually hadn't thought about that. Sangus, Clucky. It's not count as us having seen. It might not count us as having seen Rev Reva Room. Because it was a boss. Probably because it was a boss, it doesn't count it. Okay. I press B to exit the um, to exit the menu, and it just says, "Ah, you wanted to jump," and like, no, no, I wanted to exit the menu. And that, that seems like something they should have caught in bug testing, but I, I guess po the Pokemon Company probably did not give Game Freak enough time to actually bug test this game. They just checked to make sure it was functional enough to sell, and then left it at that. Please let me grab the item. If I beat you, I'm gonna tell my crush how I feel. I am so sorry for your, like, developing relationship, but I'm probably going to annihilate whatever Pokemon you have. Oh, a Finn is in. Okay. What level is it? 24. I apologize. <laughs> Not sure how you're expecting to beat the full team of six with only a single Finizen, but... Talonflame's level 40, let's go. I lost. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, so you were throwing. That explains it. <laughs> Alright. Next up in front, Miascarada. Though I'm gonna want to change things around a bit more before we actually do the poison type battle. So there's a cave down there, but I wanna explore this hill first. Then I'll go through the cave. There. Can I explore this hill? I think I have to go through from this way. Actually, no, I'll go I'll go to the cave first then. There's just so many caves. <laughs> Which, honestly. I like caves in games. I think caves add an interesting element to ga uh, to games. But like, I don't know, the caves so far, except for the one that had that one fork in it, have been kind of lackluster. <laughs> also, it looks like we have the Stream Raiders battle ready. So let's get that. This is a super boss, so we'll see if we can beat this with our 14 allies, apparently. I'm not sure what other than the 6 count as uh, allies, but 7 enemies. Oh, this thing... Okay, went down pretty quickly. I think it's just the uh, chests left. Alright. Well, we stormed through that super boss pretty easily. Let's go. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. That is eight gold going to every bureaucracy strip on that battlefield, an extra thirty berserker scrolls going to Haku. And if the game loads, unless we go back to the map, let's go. Continue here. Uh, there's a token chest here. I'm not sure if we're going to hit this by the end of the event, but I am going to send us to go for it. Before that, though, let me collect off this quest. 
And let's get this next battle going. Place your units on the battlefield for a chance at victory. And we'll get this battle started in half an hour. In the meantime, we got some more Pokemon to play. Okay, is there actually anything interesting at the top of this hill, or is it just a hill? Can I actually get up here? Okay, I can get up to here. I... Okay, can I Breath of the Wild parkour my way up? I can sort of Breath of the Wild parkour my way up. Is there actually anything interesting up here? Okay, there's a single TM. Body press. Alright. Uh, not terrible. I mean, it's, it's a fighting type TM, so that's useful, I suppose. Uh, I... Yeah, I think I've looked around... All of here. I think I picked up all the items I could. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like there's any other items. So we, wait, hold on, what was that? Was that, a, that was an item. <laughs> I thought that was just a Voltorb, but nope. It's an item. Got an item over here. And anything else over this way, or is this just a body of water? That looks like it's just a body of water. Okay. I already explored all this. So yeah, let's take a look at this junction. Honestly, Area 3 of the East Province is really big. Like, I did not expect it to be just this large. <laughs> Alright. Explore over the top level first, and then I'll drop down and keep exploring the lower levels. Restore, nice. I'm starting to pick up like <laughs> just straight up full restores, which is kind of neat. Fire spin, all right. Okay, nothing up there. Oh, that's a bolt orb. Uh, I thought I saw a trainer around here. Oh, they're down there. Okay. Smooth rock. Yeah, let's go up here and start looking around over here. Hold on, item. Can I actually pick up the item, please? There we go. It's just some dig the dirt. I do like the drift animation on the I think it's kind of cute. I calculated it all, and I knew the likelihood you'd come talk to me was 100%. That's not, not how calculating things works. You can... Okay, Lycanroc's, Lycanroc's neat. Unfortunately, I have a masquerada and a floating piece of a leaf. I really don't know if that's supposed to be connected to the mouth, like, or if it's just straight up floating. Why, why is the why is the hairy hama just behind us? All right. I do really like the animation for Flower Drake. Like, <laughs> it's so showy. Actually, I just realized, Flower Truck always being a crit is kind of busted. Because, um... 
because it bypasses defense buffs. So the, so Pokemon can use Iron Defense like three times. We can switch into Miascarada and just use Flower Drink. Also, Night Slash, let's go. Uh, yeah, 70 power. Uh, physical, but uh, Dark type move. I will absolutely take it over Bite. And Night Slash has a higher crit chance, too. <laughs> so, like... Miascarada is just a crit machine at this point. Ooh, a Scyther. But we keep carrying Pokemon. Um, bug flying. So, you know, we, we absolutely switch out. I think we're going to switch into Pomo. <clears throat> because Spark should be super effective here. Ooh, double team. That's... That's a bit scary. Please hit. Let's go. I failed to calculate my chances of winning. Okay, so the NPC trainers at least are starting to consistently have two or more Pokemon, so that's nice. I wish they consistently had like three or more by this point, but yeah. So I'm sure once I once I go back to the West Province, it will probably be like, you were supposed to do this a long time ago, and it'll be like level twelve and have two, I have like one Pokemon each. All right, looks like there's. Yeah, nothing new up here, so that's just the poppy, it's the poppy call. Alright, ooh, item. Nearly missed that. Okay, anything at the bottom here? It's probably some, there's probably an item at the very bottom. This is like always an item at the very bottom. Oh wait, hold up. Did I... Did I just drop a bunch of frames? I can't... Quite tell. Uh, apologize, apologies if you suddenly got choppy there for a moment. I can't really tell whether or not I dropped frames because Twitch is claiming... Like, the Twitch uh, bitrate tracker that normally like actually tracks my bitrate is currently claims that I'm offline, which I don't think is actually the case, given that chat still works and I'm getting stream playback and all that. So... Okay, so that's that explored. Gonna hop into this thing. Explore this. Actually, let me battle this trainer first. Hey, hold up, would ya? Tag tree thicket up ahead isn't safe. You'll run into a bunch of delinquents. I. That's the point. <laughs> Veronica the student. Ooh, Greedon. Alright, so... Yeah, Flower... Flower Trick does a whole lot more. I, I love the little strut forward Miascarada does as well. Like, with the spot... So, the spotlight, the snap, the strut forward, like... Gum shoes, which I can just flower trick once again. Wow, you're strong. I guess you didn't need my advice. Okay. 
So, what is in here? Alright, that was the, uh... Yeah, that was the cave through... Here, I think. Yeah, so, well, ignore that for now. Ooh, iron vents! Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> iron vents is just a good move. Full stop. Okay. No items there. Aha! There is an item here. Uh, let's see anything around here. Does not look like it. <laughs> Just jump over enemies I don't want to encounter. Oh. Quite mean to bump into that tree, but alright. And, yeah, no items up there. No items around here. An item here. An X attack. Okay. Pretty decent. Wait. Is the only... Is the only way out of here... This... This jumping thing? That seems... Oh wait, the cave... The cave is the intended way out. Okay. Okay, have I already explored this hill? I think I have. It looks like I have, yeah. So yeah, I think... Just gotta pick up this item. And... That is... Uh... The third area of the East Province done. So yay. <laughs> Teal up. And then we'll uh, venture into Tag Tree Thicket. And take on the uh, Poison Clan of Team Star. Alright. So. Let's take my plan of attack. Oh. So is... Okay, so this wall is the star the star wall so yeah i'll go along the path a bit and then uh take on team star oh the frame rate just dropped considerably Whew. okay so most of my attacks probably one shot so hopefully a great ball catches this green. Ah, so close. Ooh. And and it got the paralysis. Jeez. Why are the enemy Pokemon always so lucky? Okay. Okay, hopefully U-turn doesn't one shot. Even with paralysis, we outspeed. <laughs> and yeah, we'll swap in uh, probably Claude Sire just for the higher defense. Actually, uh, we can also with the stockpile that. Buffs is both defense and special defense, right? Yeah. So yeah, we can mud shot just fine here to reduce its health a bit more. Oh yeah. But we we're just naturally faster than the green. Wow. Okay, now we'll grave ball catch. The, the Makahita just gathering to watch. Oh, so close. So close. I really wish the battle dialogue was a bit snappier. 
Because, like, that probably could have been summed up in one message. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll take the green. This Pokemon makes off with heaps of fallen berries by wrapping them in its tail, which is roughly twice the length of its body. Set boxes. Alright. And let's heal again, because. Wow, that just straight up paralyzed one of my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Healing here. There we go. And then we'll venture back into Tag Tree Ticket. Seems the wild Pokemon are like level 26 there. Uh, like level 26, probably up to 30. So the Team Star will probably be around level 35. So we're actually probably right around the proper level to be fighting in there. Oh, cutscene. Hello, Clive. Oh, it's called Tag Tree because of the Grafai Eye. Okay. Ah, it's you, James. <laughs> we we can just really point out this is Clavel in disguise. Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, James, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. What's your endgame? What's your endgame, Clive? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Ooh. Ooh, do these both result in the exact same dialogue option? I- they probably both result in the exact same dialogue. Team Star is the subject of more than a na few nasty rumors around the Academy, you know. Yep, okay, it, it's probably the exact same dialogue. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. But those are rumors. Uh, the matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've been skipping class. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside the cla a classroom for over a year. H how have they not just been expelled? Like that. It seems like, like sure, the, the truancy office should you know handle handle that, but like at some point you just expel them <laughs> like how are, you, how are you charging tuition like if they're not showing up to class at all are you like sending them a bill still like <laughs> and it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well that's why i took it upon myself to issue a direct order to team Spot ta star to disband I informed them that, should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. Okay, so they are... Blood, at least giving them notice. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dis dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. And speaking of Cassiopeia... It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Another time, then. Be careful. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? <laughs> you, you have, you always just lie. All right. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay, so it just teleports me all the way in. So, 
Let's reorganize because this is a poison type. Uh, so we are going to want to have Cloud Sire in front because ground type is super effective against poison and poison resists poison. Um, I'm not sure if Psychic resists poison, but having a Psychic type around is probably a good play too. Uh, I know, I think fighting resists poison. So what we'll do, so yeah, we'll have Cloud Sire, Palmo, Gardevoir. Actually, I think we might want to prioritize offense. So we'll have Cloud Sire, Gardevoir, Palmo. Uh, those three for the Star Barrage. And then we'll have uh, yeah, Floatol, then Talonflame, then Miascarada. Miascarada is probably just gonna have to come out. Like, if Miascarada is coming out, it's so we can max revive Claude Sire. <laughs> like, okay, hold on. Let me swap. Yes, got out of back up to the top for a moment so I can catch. Uh, wait, no, I already have a venom hat. What am I talking about? <laughs> That's an oink alone. All right. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Or Don Atticus? Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Donaticus. Why... why is this kid so insistent on talking to... <laughs> okay. Give me a break, you little doofus. People over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? There's no option to disengage. I mean, that makes sense, but... Ah, oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think Grunt War for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be James. Wait, James? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. <laughs> like, <laughs> we can just go in full confidence. Honestly, that's kind of funny. Let's go with it. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. <laughs> Leave them to me, Mr. Crunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Donaticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. Okay, I'm kind of curious as to what's going on, sort of, not really politically, but like kind of politically here. This is, this is, uh, interesting. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. Okay. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. <laughs> Alright, you villain. If you're after Donaticus, then be prepared to face my wrath. Okay. Yeah! All right, kid. What what Pokemon do you have? Like Pokemon trainer Yusuf. Okay. A Golpin. Okay. More poison types, as expected. Really wish we had a physical ground type move at this point. Uh, I would have expected Clawsire to move on like Dig or Earthquake or something. Actually, hold. On. Let me let me just look that up. Because, in case like, I want to use a, a TM, I just look up the learn set. Alright, 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 alright. So obviously, using Toxic Spikes here isn't going to help anything at all, because... <laughs> yeah. But, Mudshot should definitely, uh... Oh yeah, that does a lot. And we outspeed the Gulpin as well, which is... Just kind of neat. Oh wait, I just realized. We can Terrastalize Gardevoir. <laughs> it's a just Psychic type and lose the... 
and lose the fairy, the the uh, the we then lose the poison weakness. Oh, that. Oh, that'll be a play. Like if Claw Tire winds up going down. Shrewdle. All right. Uh, I mean, obviously we act as if we have battle style stat on. Oh, and that just one shots. All right. Okay. I talk bit, but I'm no warrior. Donaticus, I'm sorry I failed you. James, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, no fair. You had backup this whole time? At this point, one of the Academy students. He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star. But Don Atticus is my kumbab today. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. James, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. I to borrow you for a chat? My, uh, my man? <laughs> Don't worry. I won't bite. Why am I always so surprised by the by my phone ringing? I really should expect it at this point after I do anything. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Nafi Squad. Their boss, Atikas, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Are, are they gonna? Are they gonna come in and say, "Hey, listen"? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Not really a fan of the Star Barrage. I would prefer just like traditional triple battles, but this is fine. Me, some kid locked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this Gate Crasher what Team Star can do. And for listening, Gate Crasher, know this: unless you can beat thirty of our Pokemon in ten minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Bro, I'll be thirty in like under five. Alright, even with type disadvantage here, like... We're doing alright. So, Palmo has taken a bit of a hit. That's fine. Alright. Actually send out a Pokémon, please? That would be great. Oh my god, the frames, man. Okay. Okay. Venonat. Alright. Please, just let me actually target the Pokémon. That would be great. Uh, are there... Are there Pokémon around? Come on. We need eight more. There's three Grafii here. Easy enough for me to just annihilate. Uh... Aha! 
Go with Gulpin. Palmo is in the yellow, but we're fine. And two Ghastly. All right. All right. Under two minutes. Also, the uh, Stream Raiders battle is ready, but we'll get to it after this uh, 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 Team Star battle. <laughs> Stream of Rain hit for a second. He's way above Arletta. We gotta get the boss. Oh. So, I wonder if uh, the Reverum have different types? Also, Team Star's Poison Crew. Atticus. Or Atticus. Or Atticus. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Can this loading screen load? Are we just gonna have a black screen for a few more seconds? This Okay, there we go. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel James, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. I plunge into the grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. Ooh, Ash Shadow Rocker, thank you for the hydration reminder. Welcome in, how have you been today? On guard! Yeah, imagine, imagine being a scoundrel. I mean, from our point of view, we aren't one, but I'm sure it's Team Star is like, why, why is he doing this? But, yep. Yeah. Okay. The battle music's always great. Okay, Dark Poison. Uh, they really just bring out a hard counter to psychic types right off the bat. Okay. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Okay, he has four Pokemon. This is the first trainer we've encountered so far that has had four Pokemon. But, I mean, we should be able to just mud shot a couple of times. So, okay. Uh... Actually, does Poison Resist bug? I think Poison Resist bug. So, yeah. So we don't really want to Mega Horn this much up. Super Shadow's... Ooh! Congratulations, Shadow. Oh, Sucker Punch. Mm. Certain moves can poison with a mere g graze. Tremble, Scoundrel, for thy Pokémon's sake. Dude, I'm using a Poison type. Poison ground at that. He, he's just gonna keep using Sucker Punch, unfortunately. Which is priority, so. Ugh. We do heal with the Shell Bell. It's not a lot, but it should be able to keep us in the battle for a bit longer. Have a great rest of your evening, Haku. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, hold on, bring out Rev of Room right off the bat. Oh. Okay, so the car is not necessarily Rev of Room. But wait. It's probably <laughs> It's probably Poison Steel, isn't it? Which means it's uh four times weak to ground. It definitely outspeeds me. Iron Head? Uh, okay! Okay. Uh, ooh, hold on, speed drop. I don't think the speed drop is enough. <sighs> yeah, they, they really just bring out all the hard counters, huh? Um, okay. I go... Hyper Potion? 
I think a Hyper Potion is the play, because Iron Head did like 60 damage. So I think... Or no, it did, it did less than 60. So yeah, if we Hyper Potion here, we can Mud Shot next turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, and for okay, it's a good thing we hyper potioned because, oh no, oh god, Ironhead has a flinch thing. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's bad. That is bad. All right. And the things we have to have claw tire out because it's it's steel poison. So like, ooh. Oh my god, flinched again! Game, please, I would like to... I would like to use Mudshot one more time. I suppose maybe, maybe, maybe swapping into... Okay, if we flinch again, I think I swap in to... Uh... Okay, cool, we actually used Mudshot. I was gonna say, if we flinch again, I'd probably swap into Floatzel, but... Okay, Muck, I'm not too concerned about. A couple of mud shots should be enough to take it down. Okay, it has ground type moves as well. Ooh, dropping our accuracy. That's not good. Accuracy drops are never fun. <sighs> At least we outspeed it now. So that's good. Unfortunately... Uh, okay, cool, we actually hit that. One more mud shot and we win this one. Unfortunately, the accuracy drops are gonna hurt a lot. So yeah, if we start missing, if we start missing consistently, we might need to swap out. Not to, actually, we probably want to swap out to Gardevoir. Okay, cool, we, we hit. Wow, three accuracy drops and we still hit every shot? Let's go. We're starting to run low on mud slaps, though. <laughs> Another Rev of Room? Oh, wait, the one he's standing on. You seem to give me a taste of mine own poison. Fight! I will see. I will fight to the bitter end. Okay. Uh. Once again, steel poison. Mud shot. Mud shots four times. I think claw tire definitely goes down here, though. Yeah. Because even if we Hyper Potion... Okay. Uh, what we'll do... Is the, uh, swap into Floatzel. So we, can't really, we can't really swap, uh, safely swap in to Gardevoir. Spin out? What the... Okay. Steel-type move, I assume. Ooh! Partially dropping speed. Okay, that is very good for us. Um, so yeah, we'll rain dance. To get that buff to water type moves. Oh, ho, ho. why would you use flame charge on a floatzel? Oh, to get the speed back up. Right, because spin out. Okay. Ugh, that still did not do all that much damage. Toxic debris. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. Cause yeah, that'll that just scatters toxic spikes. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay, I think best move here is to Terrasalize Floatzel. Instead of Gardevoir. <sighs> yeah, we can't safely switch into Gardevoir. And especially since um, Toxic Spikes are out. So yeah, we'll Terrasalize Floatzel. A, a bit more. Noxious Torque? Ooh. Maybe we should have uh, saved Terrastalize uh, Gardevoir. That's fine. We, we can Hyper Potion if we need to. I think it, it might have just been waiting for me to, to, to use a terrestrialization before it started going all out. Alright, another two hits from Aqua Jet should take it out. Okay, I think we survived one more Noxious Torque. Ooh, never mind, we're poisoned. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, um. That does hurt. I don't really want to use another Hyper Potion, because we only have eight of them left. I think we might just let Flosal go down here. Yeah. Okay, we get in another Aqua Jet, which will help. If this crits, it kills. It didn't crit. Unfortunate. Okay, Flosal goes down. We lose the Terrestrialization, but that's fine. I, I should have. Okay, I have to hope Gardevoir outspeeds. Unless. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Rain stopped. Ooh, actually, we could, we could send in Talonflame. Uh, let me see. Let me see summary. Uh, speed. 72, actually. Hold on. 133 on Talonflame, but. Gardevoir might outspeed? Maybe? And it certainly. <laughs> Actually, no, Ref of Room's probably pretty fast. I don't think... Yeah, I think, um... Yeah, I think actually Talonflame's the right play here. Okay. We'll swap in Talonflame. So we should outspeed even with speed buff, I think. Oh no, it outspeeds us. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, also also because of the toxic spikes, we'd want to switch in talent flame because it's a flying type. Okay, flame charge should turn off. Oh wait, is it just pure poison? Oh no. Okay, the speed buff definitely helps. I think it might just be per pure poison type instead of uh, poison steel. Okay. So yeah, we'll. Okay, acrobatics should finish off now. Okay, cool. We have to be. Whew. Forgive me, my friends. Oh, we got another flashback. Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Oh, sick, these boots are insane. Ah, yes, the move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. Self, it is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. 
I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Eddie. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up, then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're pretty cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. Time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in, uh, in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, my heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more, and trust it to thy care. <laughs> the wink with the bow. Okay. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Ah, oh, gunk shot. James is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy, vis but thy victory stirred no bitterness within, within me. Such was its brilliance. Donaticus, my, my compadre. It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Donaticus, please hear what I have to say. I need only a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that would be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Okay, who's who's pulling all the strings? Is Cassiopeia pull- I have to wonder if Cassiopeia is pulling all of the strings. That would be something. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. Especially since Cassiopeia is a constellation. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> and without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? Clive, they don't just answer questions like that. In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are recluse. As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. It's awful. Though their name and face may be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious compadre. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't you ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus? You have, a, you have a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. Seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But, more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students were struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting they do, but I just couldn't see it. Oh, sh it's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha! Huh. I believed Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Alright, more cutscene, or... Yep, alright. More Cassiopeia. James, it's me. I take it the Atticus Star Badge is now in your possession? I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Atticus. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second again. Okay, so yeah, Cassiopeia is absolutely pulling all of the strings. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised.
Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver the bonus and bonus materials, too. Alright, so we got to see Penny again. Hello, it's me again, from the supply unit. Oh, I'm here to hide on! Well, what the heck? I can't stop that. But he had a little... Oh my god. Miraidon is just straight up a dog. Like, sure, it's a giant mechanical dragon bike. But it acts like a dog. <laughs> well, it drooled all over me. Even is that Pokemon, anyway. I have absolutely no idea. Because Professor Saturo will not tell me anything. Huh. I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark for Pokemon at your side. Uh, um, before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name is James, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? I mean, okay, our options are just <laughs> battling stuff, I suppose. And so far, they've been pretty easy. We've only lost one Pokemon that fainted against them. And that was because it was just tactically better than switching it. <laughs> Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always much delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. Then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh... That's just the info I got by hacking other students. <laughs> Penny! Penny, I'm pretty sure that is a crime. I- I don't- that- that's not- that's not- that's not okay. You can't just- you can't just, like, casually admit to that. that uh, what? <laughs> I also found a talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who rooted them to the team in the first place. Hmm. I don't want to talk this much, now my throat kinda hurts. So. Good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. I love the EV backpack. That's just... Hmm. Alright. So, that's a lot of Pissimian. Just kind of vibing. Now let me change around the order again, back to what it was. And there we go. So let's head back to the Pokemon Center. And then I will wrap up stream. Also, yeah, the t the frame rate just absolutely tanks in Tag Tree Thicket. Like, wow. Oh, hey, at least I'm... Yeah, the, the frame rate in here, oof. It's already pretty bad, but then it just drops even further. Okay, wait. Can I actually pick up this item, please? Thank you. Alright, let me heal. What the? Oh, that was that was um, an orthworm. Okay. Alright, let me heal, and then I'll uh, do the Stream Raiders battle, and then I'll wrap up stream. this, and let me save. <laughs> and save again. And... Let's have a sh- da -da 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 -da. We have seven allies in this battlefield against nine enemies. All this is going on, let me look for a raid target. Ooh! I well, we haven't raided this person in a while. Alright. Got six enemies remaining, seven allies. I think we've got this Stream Raiders battle in the bag. Yep, looks like it's just this chest over here. And 
and that is a victory. Five gold going to every viewer who plays troop on that battlefield. Wonder who's gonna get Archer Scrolls. Let's go into Haku. Alright. That is going to be all for this evening. Thank you all for coming to stream tonight. Uh, I'm ending quite a bit later than I usually do, but I kind of have to because of uh, how my Thanksgiving week schedule has been going. Um, I will be streaming more Pokemon Violet tomorrow, probably at the same time around 9.30, and I'll probably be going for another like like three hours or so tomorrow night as well. Uh, and Sunday, we'll probably be more Pokemon Violet at a regular stream time of around 6 or 8 or so. But for now, we are going to be raiding our friend, Luca Rico. Uh, be sure to copy and paste... Wait, did I spell that wrong? I spelled that wrong. Hold on. <laughs> I just have to double check that I spelled it right. Okay. Here we're reading our friend Luca Rico. Uh, be sure to copy and paste this raid message. Spam it in Rico's chat once we get over there. And once again, thank you all for coming to stream tonight. Uh, I'll be live again. I, I plan to be live again tomorrow. Depending on how my schedule goes, I might have to cancel. But have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!